Hello and welcome to this uh, emulator news update. So Duck Station is dead, but there is some glimmer of hope. So let me just cover, you know, what's you know been going on over the last you know few days or so. And okay, so yeah, Duck Station was announced it's officially dead. Duck Station, if you don't know, is a PlayStation One emulator, and it's like a competitor to EPC, EPCS, EP. P E P F X E <laughs> E P S X E, and so yes, Stenzek, who is the developer of Duck Station, posted on the Discord group, and the Discord is no longer even available now. So if you go to Duck Station, if you just go to the page here, and let's say we click on Discord, it, it doesn't even work now. I wonder if the compatibility list is still up and running. Yep, compatibility list is. Okay, but it's just an invalid link. Okay, so what's happened? So in response to a comment, he said it's been inactive for a while now. Just made it official. So he said it, it was basically dead for a while, but it's, uh, he was probably mulling it over, thinking of what to do, what not to do. And he said, he's not saying it's done for good, but on an indefinite hold. Someone wants to take over maintenance. I'm fine with that. So as long as you're not trying to turn it into a piggy bank for yourself, I'm happy to do code review, etc. Okay, so he basically wants another developer. I think he's probably a bit burnt out. And then there's this other, you know, part where he's talking. I'm not doing any new features, no. The only way I would do anything new f for DS would be, you know, DS Duck Station, that is, would be closed source. But there's no point doing that now since it's mostly finished. And so, so yeah, the reason he's saying that, and he covers that, anything I do just gets ripped off by a certain front end, which I won't name directly, but starts with R. I'm guessing he's mean talking about RetroArch, uh, including code, which was never public being committed in someone else's name. They tried to hide it, but the comments match one to one. I could send a copyright take them, but it's not worth the stress to myself. It, it seems like it's probably, you know, mentally impacted him a fair bit public harassment from the lead developer check the pcsx to discord wasn't enough they had to leak and claim credit for private code too so yeah so that's what's you know been going down and yeah it is unfortunate this was one of the like i prefer to use epsxe and a lot of people rave about duck station and i've created videos on it before tutorials how to set it up and I've used it. I've got it in my Retro Pocket 2 Plus. I need to create some videos on that. Let me know if you what you would like to see on that. And I think my creating videos like on GameCube or Dreamcast on PS2 and you know performance of certain games and trying to get the best settings. Let me know if you're interested in that or some other sort of video for that. But yeah, I've got it on that. Works fantastic. But one of the concerns I had when Duck Station popped up was EPSXE has been around for a long time now. It's it's like the OG. It's kind of like the main OG one, and it's works very well. It's got a lot of features. It is cross-platform. I know Duck Station is as well, but obviously initially when it came out, initially when I you know started looking at it, I remember it was I don't know if it was on all platforms or if there was an issue on certain platforms. I remember there was something like that. And obviously, I know over time development. You know, I'm a programmer as well. I know how it, you know, how it is. But like features come, and you know, new versions come, and new versions for different OSs come. But like, I was always concerned, not the forefront of my mind, but the back. What if you shut down? Like, what if you just don't get the same amount of love? And unfortunately, this has happened. You know, it, it is unfortunate because it is good because not only was it good for the PS1 community, and PCSX2 announced on their twitter page on january the 8th so a month ago and i created a video on this and i'll link that in the description of pcsx2 now has vulcan built in which means it has potential more performance especially in low run systems like amd apus but the vulcan renderer was made by stenzek the guy who made duck station so it's not just a loss to the PS1 community, which is obviously major anyway, and that's one of my favorite favorite consoles of all time. It's also a major loss to just the emulation community in general, because you don't know in five, ten years if he was still working on it. Again, I'm not blaming him. I'm blaming you know whatever went down. I think RetroArch and the rest of the community. But like, if he was still around, you don't know. He might have contributed towards RPCS3. He might have contributed towards maybe some. I don't know, Xbox emulator or, or something totally new. And he's, he's clearly very talented, 
but also very talented at Vulcan. And that's obviously where things are going. So it, it, it's just unfortunate. And it, it, it is obviously not a nice thing. And, and he did say that he will, you know, hand, I think he said in here, that he would, you know, hand over maintenance. But he does want somebody that will properly maintain it, that doesn't want to just basically package it up and try and, you know, sell it. Because, like, I've seen emulators on, like, Android, and they're paid, and they're like a PS1 emulator. And, I, you know, I stick to the main ones. Duck Station, EP, EPCSXE, and, you know, whatever else for different, you know, consoles. But... Uh, you know, I don't download those other ones, but they get a lot of downloads. And I'm thinking, some of them are probably just BS viruses, but some of them are probably legit. As in, they've taken that source code, put a different, you know, front end on there, like he was, you know, saying, and then, and they're charging for it, and they're acting like it's their own new emulator. Which, in all fairness, is not that hard to do if you have, a, you know, a bit of basic coding skills. But again, it, it, it's not like they've, okay, taken it, improved on it heavily and it's like a whole new version how sometimes you do get you know new emulators come from an existing project because they you know add let's say hd textures they add better rendering they add a bunch of extra features and that becomes the new you know main one but in this case people are just copying it and just trying to make money i bet some people have probably made some you know nice money as well but it is unfortunate I wanted to create this update so people knew what is going on so if you don't see updates on duck station that is why but he said he's willing to hand over code maintenance hopefully he goes to someone that's willing to put the work in and you never know might even get better than this hopefully you know he's not officially gone forever and he does come back not just to duck station but to the emulation scene in general and yeah i wish him the best and thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to hit us up on the discord group the link in the description along with emulation channels so feel free to post in there and i'll see you in the next video bye bye